Hello and welcome to this Project in a Box training session. We're going to be looking here at baselining um, and uh, the information about how to create and manage baselines and how to use them in reporting and portfolio rules, etc. So here in my plan file, I have uh, some baseline uh, and actual milestones set up. A baseline um, have been set uh, manually and the uh, the actuals are following uh, tasks in the plan, certainly the actual finish one is. So we can see in this case we've got a discrepancy where the baseline finish uh, or the actual finish is coming after the baseline finish date as it's currently showing in the system. So what we want to do is be able to pick that up. So the system automatically generates for you actually the plan start date and the plan end date. Uh, those are properties generated every time you check in the plan it picks the first date it finds and the last date it finds. You could I suppose use baseline finish and last date in the plan um, but to be more accurate we're going to use baseline finish and an actual finish because in practice often people will look for actual date on site, baseline date on site, actual date off site, baseline date off site, those sorts of things. So you identify the things you want to pick up and then the system can grab those and turn them into properties. So we already have properties for our uh, project and we can see here our plan start and finish dates showing uh, in, this, uh, in this property view. So these are the ones I said automatically created. We can make the system go away and create some more actually and we do that using admin other project property definitions. This is only available to admin users. We have to first unlock this form and we can then come in and set those up. Now here we've got things that are picking up some of our other properties and formatting them um, and so we can see actually things like uh, our plan finish date, plan start date, have got particular date formats on them etc. Uh, and uh, some of them can be read from plan and that's not particularly common but here's a couple so we are bringing currently a baseline finish and a baseline start from the plan we're again formatting a display name a display format on them and I think that's done deliberately differently to uh, to the ones that come automatically from the plan so we can pick out the differences between them now if we want to add another one and we're, so here we're going to add um, actual um, uh, baseline, oh, sorry, actual finish and actual start. So um, let's go and have a look for that. So I'm going to go and pick up a new one here at the bottom. It's going to be a read from plan type. Uh, I'm going to call it uh, actual finish. Now these, uh, the names of these have to have no spaces in them. So I'm using an underscore there. Um, I'm going to give it a type date. And I'm going to give I can give it then a display name, this, which is what it's used in the main system. So then we can put it back to a normal sort of name like that actual finish. Now this is going to be read from the plan. So what it's going to do is it'll look for through every task in this project when the plan is checked back in. And when it finds a task called whatever we're going to call it, task name actual finish, it will take a piece of data from that. In this case, we want the finish date on the finish. Milestone, actually, yeah, I suppose you could use start or finish date because it's a milestone, it has only one um, date associated with it. Uh, but in this case, we'll pick the right one, finish date like that. Um, and that, so that will create a property with the date um, and put it into that property name. So we can set that up like that, and we can then do another one which is going to be actual start like that. This is going to be all the same, apart from the alias, it's going to be different, actual start and we're going to pick it up from the task actual start like that and of course here we'll take the start date instead okay so <laughs> let me just uh, do that properly actual start it's a date plan and start date. Right there we are so we've got these two new properties that are going to be generated by the system uh, so I can save that and that will happen every time any plan is read in now it will go and look for those and create them so I can uh, read my plan out and back in again in fact we have an admin tool for reading all of them out and back in again uh, but for now I'm just going to do a, a nice quick check out update it check it back in again so we check that out. We're not going to actually bother making any changes. We're just going to check it back in. And that will have now, as part of that process, gone and read that data and created those properties.
So if I want to go and have a look at that data, I can come back to here um, and uh, we can change that property to add it to this list here. In fact, you'll see it's, it's got a baseline finish date for it. So I've already added, these are our, uh, our system created ones, plan start and finish date. Baseline finish is coming uh, from that baseline finish property that we already had seen set up. And I'm going to go and edit this view and add now a couple of others. So I'm going to add a new piece of data column. I'm just going to refresh all that. And we've got actual finish and actual start here now. So let's grab those as well. And we'll just reorder that a little bit at the end. So we've got um, actual finish uh, at the very end, baseline finish just underneath it, and the plan finish date also showing there together. So now we can see for this plan we've got all of those three dates showing. Um, the plan finish date automatically generated which is going to be the same as the actual finish date in this case and the baseline finish date which is showing as earlier than that so we can have that data automatically calculated of course we can bring back lots of other things from the plan in the same way so it doesn't stop you creating as many of these as you want often they would be templated into your starting plans so that people can then move them just and adjust them as required now because this is property data we can use it in a number of different ways um, it can be used to feed uh, reports so we can go away and run a report uh, so not all reports contain all the different pieces of information um, but uh, we can go and load one that does in this case so if we go and click select the project statement to print as a project report That's going to um, go away and run a standard report for me, which has got that data in here. So I can see my um, baseline finish date and my predicted finish. So this one's actually using as predicted finish, it will be the um, plan date. Um, this is the uh, baseline date. And of course, we can do exactly the same sort of thing with starts, etc. So it's about pulling that data and using it in different places in the summary. Um, of present of properties but also into reports like this um, now we can also then go and do this into um, uh, or use this to feed the portfolios themselves so when I come here and I'm seeing this portfolio information services has this set of projects in um, and in fact I could go and look at all projects and see all of them I could go down looking for which ones have a baseline finish date which has uh, been breached um, but actually I can set up a portfolio rule to do that for me. So if I come to manage portfolios and I'm going to create a new portfolio uh, called uh, past baseline date like that. Um, just available for me for the moment and rather than manually adding projects to it I'm going to run a rule. So manage portfolio rules what I want is a rule that's going to determine which projects have breached that milestone. So um, I can come to here, the full projects list, which is what's currently prospectively going to be filtered by the rule. And I can select the properties I'm interested in. So I'm interested in actual finish and I'm interested in um, baseline finish like that. Okay, actual finish and baseline finish. So uh, we can, I don't know if we just replay, refresh data, we can see which projects are sending through that information. Actually, I've only got one project currently sending me an actual finish date, and it's the one that we saw earlier, which has breached the baseline finish date, actually. But that's enough for us to test this particular hypothesis. So we come back to rules, and now I'm going to create a rule. Um, and these rules can be used to... Um, to work on any of the uh, the data properties that you have available in your data model. So this is uh, past base line because we can have of course compounding rules of no a number of different aspects involved. The property I want is um, my actual finish. So where actual finish is a date and it is 
greater than another date and that other date sorry and that another property and that other property is going to be baseline finish so when actual finish is greater than baseline finish then put the projects that match that rule into this portfolio okay so we can apply that that rule is there and we can see now in the projects list it's applied that and just brought me back the one of course like I say you can bring in as many different rule elements here as you want to um, to uh, to merge together um, and give really quite sophisticated outputs this is a relatively straightforward one okay so that's uh, that's done we'll see um, uh, our uh, portfolio will be in here uh, now uh, past baseline date we can see it's got that one project in it now these baseline rules um, uh, can be triggered for you anytime you want to whenever you're here you can come to options and run portfolio rules even if you don't have permissions to set them up which has to be done by an administrator um, you can run the rules and it will run those rules on all the projects in the database for those bits of data and return the projects that should be in this list so you don't have to go fishing all the way through to find the ones that have passed baseline date it will do that for you um, all based on the latest data that it has present okay so we've looked at um, how we can uh, pick up baseline information from the plan how we can use it into reports and how we can use it to filter out lists of projects which have breached the baseline I hope you find that helpful thank you